EPA and Dubois meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for November 28th, 2022. It is Monday and back to work for some of you. Some of you still have off with the uh, with the kids, not back to school yet uh, from the Thanksgiving break. Kinsley's Family Market in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania, sponsors the Monday video forecast. Kinsley's is the world's largest shop right and the shop right logo means they're all about food, they're all about savings, and they're all about you. Kinsley's has all of your favorite football, tailgating, and party foods ready to serve, including shrimp, vegetable, and fruit platters, legendary wings, six-foot hoagies, and a lot more. Stop in and speak with Kevin, their catering guru, and start tailgating today in style. They are Kinsley's ShopRite, located at 107 Kinsley's Drive in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Monday video forecast so today yesterday we, we are in the wake of the system that moved through yesterday or moved through last last evening uh and we have in the northwestern areas kind of an odd scenario here where we have the northwestern areas northwestern portions of our coverage region that will be mostly cloudy today and then the increasing sun the further southeast you go uh, so if you look at the nam visible satellite or the simulated visible satellite you can see up in these areas of the poconos all the way back to uh, much of central pennsylvania except far south and uh, far northwestern portions of the coverage area are going to be mostly cloudy today kind of uh, partly to mostly cloudy is going to be in between and then partly cloudy further south and east you can see that progression throughout the day and how that works out so those areas far north are going to hold on to those clouds a little bit longer today and uh, because of that we have a temperature difference uh, at both locations from northwest to southeast 45 to 53 as you see above me so the icon there is a little misleading because some of the area will in fact have uh, partly cloudy skies as shown but other areas will be uh, mostly cloudy in the far interior areas today okay uh, then partly cloudy overnight and then remaining that way here on tuesday temperatures a little bit cooler tuesday with highs in the 44 to 50 degree range from northwest to southeast so most of us are in the 40s except for our far southeastern areas here on tuesday then clouds are going to increase on Tuesday night, and we're going to have this next system coming in for Wednesday. This is a uh, system that's going to bring a cold front through the region, and behind there, behind this uh, cold front, is going to be some even colder air. Now, I don't want to give you the right, uh, the wrong idea here, thinking that we're going to all of a sudden this is the this is the change we're looking for, and we're going to have really cold temperatures settling in for December. We do have December slightly below average as a whole, minus one to minus three degrees Fahrenheit below average is what we're projecting for the entire month. But this is not the sustained cold push. So we're going to have a lot of ups and downs that we're going to be dealing with from now through the end, almost the end of the first week of December, through about uh, December 6th. And then after that, I think we'll have more consistently below average temperatures settling in and maybe some snow chances coming in during that second week of December. So here is uh, Wednesday. This should start off early in the morning with the uh, with the showers as they move across. And uh, this this uh, will end generally early evening on Wednesday, okay? Uh, as this trough settles in, which is going to be right behind the front, we're going to have the winds pick up. Uh, late afternoon Friday and uh, and Friday, or excuse me, late afternoon Wednesday and Wednesday evening. I'm trying to push it as I head out of the work week already. Uh, late afternoon Wednesday and Wednesday evening. And then again on Thursday, we're going to have some cold air advection related wind. You can see the pressure gradient is very tight here uh, behind in the wake of this system. And that's going to give us some uh, windy conditions that's going to go through Thursday. Here is what the uh, total precipitation is first from that uh, system on Wednesday. This is just that system, not including anything else. And we're looking at generally, uh, let me switch to 24 hour, make sure we're not mess missing anything. Okay. Uh, so this is through the, the entirety of Wednesday. A lot of this is going to be a quarter to a half inch for most areas, but there could be a few areas that exceed that, exceed a half inch. Uh, but it should be kind of uh, uh, similar to uh, what we just had yesterday. Okay, not too much different, but we are going to have these uh, scattered showers, half inch to a uh, quarter inch to a half inch for most areas. And then some areas will go slightly over one half inch in total precipitation. But here is the wind on Wednesday is going to start picking up a little bit in the morning and early afternoon. And then when we get in the late afternoon and evening, you see a lot of these uh, greens on here. And these greens represent some wind gusts that are in the 20 or excuse me, the 30 to 40 mile per hour range. And that's going to go through Wednesday evening. We think we might back down a little bit in the overnight or just kind of 10 to 15 gusting to 25, right? 
once we get to Thursday, we pick right back up again as that cold air convection works in, and there are going to be some, especially in the morning on Thursday, some wind gusts that are going to be in the uh, same thing, 30 to 40 mile per hour range. So we're going to watch out for some windy conditions in that time, for those time frames that I specified. Narrow that down as we get a little bit closer to the event, but it does look like after this uh, moves up, moves away, uh, winds are going to diminish Thursday night, and it should remain uh, pretty normal here on Friday as far as the winds were concerned. So uh, beyond this, we are mostly sunny here on Friday. Temperatures still chilly. And with that trough, uh, both Thursday and Friday, we're going to be on either side of 40 degrees for highs on Thursday. Friday is going to be uh, maybe low to mid 40s for highs. And then we warm up a little bit once we get to Saturday. Saturday right now, we're going to call mostly cloudy uh, because this most of the day is uh, or an increase in clouds, at least, as the next trough comes into the region. And there could be some showers on Saturday night overnight with this uh, with a little front coming through here. And uh, then Sunday, we'll be back to partly cloudy skies as it looks right now. So, again, this is not the cold push. We're looking at the cold push coming in behind this system, which is going to be December 6th. OK, that is next Wednesday, the following Wednesday. So once this comes through, I think you have more sustainable cold coming in after uh, that particular uh, front, which will bring the next trough in. That should last for a while, I think. I'm EPA Boy Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 28th, 2022. Have a great Monday.